you talked about what should be done to bring quality aging on. That could turn out to be one of the most significant questions right now of what's going on in the 21st century. Mm -hmm. Tell us a few things that people should understand about the fact that they may live to be 70, 80, 90, even 100 years, mm -hmm. and they want to be healthy during that period of time. Quality aging means the first thing is you take control and being in the driver's seat of what goes into your body and the elements around you. So it's everything from as basic principles as having a clean diet. So that means really trying to eliminate the big four. Alcohol, refined sugars, gluten, and dairy products. I think these are the four main disruptors when they're done outside of moderate you know, when they're extreme and even in small amounts. Now, it depends on the person if they have a condition, but this needs to be cleaned up. That's baseline. Second is just about the environmental toxicity. Is your water purified? Are you drinking out of plastic bottles all day and taking in more xenoestrogens? Do you have natural, uh, non-toxic household cleaning products that either your pet, your child, or you are breathing in? Uh, do you have an air purifier? Are you using hands-free as much as you can? Are you keeping your cell phone to your ear all day and creating more inflammation in the brain? So that's the environmental side. Are you doing enough to exercise and download, to get grounded, be in nature, take in some oxygen, wherever that is, not in LA. <laughs> but the reality is, is that, you know, are you then integrating supplementation? I think today everybody has to have some baseline of a good multivitamin and mineral. Preferably, I like it iron-free because that synthetic iron is toxic to the brain. I like extra antioxidants like vitamin C and E. Everybody's needing extra vitamin D3. And also the omegas, so omega-3. And for women, I like the omega-6 of evening primrose to balance out hormones. And because we're so acidic, because this really, when we talk about inflammation, the body is bombarded by acidity from stressful thoughts, a poor diet, the heavy metals we're taking in, the vaccination load, and this acidity brings on inflammation, which then creates disease. So, you know, people say, oh, I have a salad a day. Is that enough to stay alkaline? I don't think so, because there's really not much nutrients in that spinach anymore. So I'm usually always advocating something as far as a green supplement, whether you want to juice and have things such as watercress, kale, parsley, uh, mixed with celery and very little bit of carrot and apple. It's not about a sweet drink, it's about an alkaline drink. And also, you know, either doing a green powder, like I like nano greens. That's a nice nanotechnology of getting alkaline in the body. So these are, I think, 101 elements that everybody needs to employ today if they want quality aging.